This film is Un Condemné à Mort, C'est Échappé, which is a story about wartime France uh, under the German occupation and, as the title says very explicitly, uh, our central figure has been condemned to death and is awaiting execution uh, and it's his means of breaking out of his prison cell. Uh, I think the significant thing is that uh, immediately after the title uh, there is the quotation from uh, the Bible, uh, the wind bloweth where it listeth, uh, and this I think is um, very much Bresson's uh, attitude that uh, everything is in the hands of God and that he will direct things and that man's disposition is uh, secondary to uh, the will of God. Bresson was obviously a very devout um, and perhaps particularly French type of Roman Catholic, uh, but it does infuse all his films. This one is my favourite because um, I, I think it's suited to his pared down style. Uh, and that some of his uh, other and mainly later films uh, don't uh, respond quite so well. But here the subject matter is a man on his own for very much of the time uh, and it uh, suits him very well. We have also the fact that uh, Bresson uh, started his career uh, just before the outbreak of war, uh, using professional actors in the conventional sense, um, and that uh, he, he continued to do this, uh, but in the uh, Journal de Incurie de Campagne, uh, he had a, just one professional actor in the leading role, uh, and that was, I think, the last time that he used professional actors. Uh, so this is something which uh, doesn't accord with my outlook, but one has to say that Bresson makes a very good case for it, and he obviously hand-picked uh, the cast that he used, not only on this film, but all the ones where he was uh, uh, working with non-professionals. It's not to everybody's taste, uh, but there is no doubt that Bresson uh, has exerted a considerable influence and a lot of filmmakers of the more serious kind have always acknowledged his contribution to their outlook on film and I think um, he deserves respect on that account. So um, it is both an influential film and a film of uh, considerable power in its own right.